And now we will have a selection by Tabine Henry, daughter, and Kedra Lee Brown, niece. Guys, yeah, go bro. We're going to have the second lesson, and this will be done by Anthony with Hamilton Williams, sister in law. She'll be reading from Psalm 24. Good morning, everyone. Um, this second lesson will be taken from Psalm 24, and it reads. The hurt is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that had clean hands and a pure heart, who hath had lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, 
the everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Ten and the last. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Here is our God who is work first. Thank you, God. Amen, amen. At this time, we will have a tribute. This is a tribute from Tiffany Martin, stepdaughter, but it will be done by Shemoya Williams. comprehend this. Such an extraordinary man you were. You came into my life when I was only 11 years old, and at first me and you couldn't take tea, but it didn't take long for you to grow on me. It doesn't take an average man to raise and love another man's daughter as their own, and you did just that. You were one of the few men in my life that I could always rely on, always had my back in thick and thin. I still remember when you bad me up in a geyser square for rolling up my school uniform shirt. The secret is still have you up for that. Yet, you never ratted out on me to the, boss, to the boss lady. You were my real G. Over the years, our bond only got stronger. Then came along a little preps, Kiria. You were the best granddad any little girl could ask for, and we are so grateful for you. A memory of you that stuck on your plate. We all know how terrified Ruby is of these things. It was always amusing when she asked you to get rid of them. A hundred feet between you and the lizard with the broomstick. We all knew you feared them. You were just acting tough. But that was just you. Looking so hard on the outside, but on the inside, you were soft, kind, and tender-hearted. I will never forget you. But how could I ever forget someone who gave me so much to remember? I just want to say thank you for being my dad, Kira's grandpa, a soulmate for my mom. Thanks for everything. I love you. May your soul rest in peace. Amen. At this time, we will have a tribute um, by Celia Smith. Is Celia here? Yes, I'm here. Oh, okay. Celia is on her way. And we also have a section for open tributes, but we'll only take two. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm reading this tribute and they are for Wayne who could not hear. This tribute and they are for Wayne. I'm sorry, my brother Dane, otherwise known as Dentan Mokiap. I will always love you, brother, and will miss you dearly. You were a good soul. May your soul rest in peace. Perfect peace, my brother Dentan. I love you. Thank you. We also want to remind everyone, as best as you possibly can, to social distance. Unless it, it is that you are a family living in the same house, otherwise we ask that you social distance yourselves. At this time, we will take an open tribute. So, 
So if anyone wants to come at this time and give your tribute, now is the opportunity for you to do it. If not, I will move on. Okay, great. So at this time, we will have the remembrance by Kadia Henry Reed, sister. Um, good afternoon, Mars. everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. All right. Put him out. Put him out. All right. Remembering Dean is super easy because I was blessed to spend the last, well, not the last four, but spent four months with him. All right. Dean was a really caring brother. All right. All right, Dan was a really caring brother. Remembering Dane is super easy because I was blessed to spend four months with him. Dane was a really caring brother, one who didn't want to see his sisters wearing certain types of clothes. Dane was not a Christian, but he had great integrity. Everyone in our little family looked up to Dane to take us to our appointments in Kingston, Montego Bay, wherever in the country that appointment would be, because he would never be late. He was an early bird. Dane was a man who, when asked to spell any word, he will end the word with E. So if you ask him to spell um, like cup, he will spell C-U-P-E. Any word you ask him to spell, he will spell it with E, um, end it with E. Dane was very reliable. He was the one who would take care of his little nephews and his niece, Kaja. He loved Kaja so much. Guys, I can't do this. I can't do this. Even now, I, I honestly can't believe Dane is gone. Dane will call me like almost every day, even two times, sometimes three times for the day. And if, as, on Sunday is a must. He would have to call me every Sunday night. And to know that no, he won't call me again pains my heart. But God knows this. Um, just keep the family in your prayers. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to have the eulogy, and that's going to be done by Tamara Hamilton, but before she comes, I'm going to actually sing a song, and I was I was told, and I never noticed, that I was um, Dane's favorite singer. He never tell me. Um, he usually make fun of me a lot, so I wouldn't know, but um, so I just want to sing this song, and I really pray that it will bless you. Pass me not O oh, gentle Savior, hear my humble cry, and while on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Oh, Savior, Savior, hear my humble cry. 
throne of mercy find a sweet relief and eating there in deep contrition help my own be Blessed Savior, hear my humble, hear my humble cry. And while on others thou art calling, Jesus, do not pass me by and when I've come to the end of myself Father carry me Father carry me when I've come to the end of myself Father carry me Oh, when I've come to the end of myself, Father, carry me, Father, carry me, when I've come to the end of myself, and I don't know where to go, Father, carry me, yeah, yeah. of the Lord this morning. Come on. We're here to thank God for the life of our brother, our father, our friend, our uncle. So at this time we're going to invite Tamara Hamilton and she's going to give the eulogy. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. One, two. Okay, morning, everyone. Morning. Eulogy for the life of Winston Cleve Henry. By the way, I'm Tamara, Uncle Dane's niece, niece in law. I 
I'm very heartbroken and saddened by the loss of Winston Cleve Henry, affectionately known to us all as Dane. But I'm also honored to have the opportunity to reflect on his life with you today. It is important that we acknowledge and fully experience the emotions of this day on which we have gathered to say sleep on to our dearly beloved. Uncle Dane was born on July 24, 1967, in Top Road, Town, St. Mary, to parents Alfred and Eva Henry. He was second of five children. He attended the Wallingford All Age School and the Geisel Secondary School, now high school. He loved cricket and played the sport while at Geisel Secondary. He was an excellent batsman. After leaving school, Dane went, Dane went straight into farming, which he always loved. He also participated. Just a minute. After school, he went straight into farming, which is something he, al he always loved. He also participated in the farm work program. His ambition steered him into having more than one streams of income, as his philosophy was, you can't put your egg in a one basket. He then entered into the transportation sector, where he transported passengers from Geisel to Spanish Town. Among his many pursuits were goods delivery and truck driving, but farming was his first love. So he soon returned to farming and invested largely in it, where he began supplying hotels and supermarkets with his produce. He was a popular figure in the community and was known for his serious personality. He was not one to mince words. He would tell you just as he sees it whether you like it or not. Although his personality was serious, he was a kind, compassionate individual who knew how to have a good time. His humorous side would surface when he's in the right company and you'd be delighted to hear his bellowing laughter. It's like I can actually hear it now. Like so many other men, after a stint with bachelor life, they decided to start a family. He met Lavina Bennett, and the union produced one daughter. On October 26, 2000, their beautiful baby daughter, Tavine, was born. He was, he was a very loving and devoted father. Nothing was too much or too sudden for his daughter. He was, very, he was very proud and bonded with her and often reminded her how much he loves her. Like many other things in life, we don't always get it right the first time. And after some time, the relationship with Lavina ended and he met his soulmate, Mercedes Hamilton, affectionately known to us as Collie, or for me, Auntie Collie. They were like two peas in a pod. They shared a happy relationship. This relationship lasted until his passing. This union gave him the love and trust of two stepdaughters, Tiffany and Shanika, who complemented it with two step-grandchildren, Cairo and Kiriam whom he referred to as his little preps. He loved them dearly. He was the coolest dad, stepdad, spouse, brother, brother-in-law, uncle, and friend anyone could ever have. Dane was a hard worker, determined to enjoy the best that life had to offer. He would relax by watching cowboy movies at the end of a long day even though he knew he'd fall asleep as soon as the movie started. He was also a lover of music and would always find time to enjoy his favorites. He could often be heard voicing one line from songs that he loved as he wasn't much of a singer. His favorite, however, was She Loves Me Now, Ooh, She Loves Me Now by Barry Hammond as he watched his spouse Auntie Collie prepares his meals. He lived a full life and family time was always his favorite time. Whenever you asked him to do an errand or a favor, it was never too much for him. He would just reply, 
the easy one to that man cool the man and it would always be done Dane is survived by spouse Colly, daughter Tavine, stepdaughters Tiffany and Shanika, step grandchildren Cairo and Kiria, brother Donald, sisters Karan and Kadia, nieces, nephews, other relatives and friends. Winston, Uncle Dane, Dane, Glandy, Mocap, Auntie Collie Babes. May your loving soul rest in peace. Beautifully done. At this time, we're just gonna have the two open tributes. One is gonna be done, the first is gonna be done by Chupsi, and the second and final one will be done by Evangelist Derek. So please come in that order. to do a tribute <laughs> for him because he can't make it so I'll just do a little song I went to the house where I used to go the grass has grown up and covered the door someone across the street said I know who you see but he, he don't come here anymore He is somewhere around the throne of God He is somewhere around the throne of God I keep searching and searching until I shall find him He is somewhere Around God's throne I went To the church Where he Used to go. The preacher He was still there And he met me By the door He said I know Who you are and I know who you're looking for, but he, he don't come here anymore. He is somewhere around the truth. The Bible says in everything that we should give thanks because this is the will of God concerning us. The Lord give it and the Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I stand to represent the Derek family and I bring condolences to the family from Toussaint Derek. Andrea Derrett, Rosan Derrett, and the man Creeps. I want everybody just to give the Lord a clap offering for a life well lived and a life well spent. This is a very productive man that we have lost in our community. A businessman, a farmer, a good father, an excellent individual. And I spent some time, I'm one of the number one customer in this bar where his spouse 
runs. Every week we come, we have a drink, we talk, we laugh, we do business. I remember the last business I'd done with Dane was my bishop needed 200 pound of pork and he was able to supply him and he said, Biggs, come and buy a drink. He was a good chap. We had no quarrel. We never had a fight. And I saw him every week in this little spot of ground. And I'm here to sing a song and good to see my good friend, Bishop McGregor, is here with us and we just want to thank God for him. Once like a traveler down the road rough and dusty Satan had me blinded to the things of the Lord I didn't know the peace of Jesus was unaware salvation pleases till I trusted him completely and believe in God's word. Oh, how sweet to rest in the arms of Jesus. Oh, how sweet to know I'm safe from all arms. Just to know that Jesus saved me with his mercy, forgave me. Oh, how sweet to lean on Jesus, strong arm. He's building me a mansion, his perfect plan need no expansion I can hear the ransom choir start to sing amazing grace there will be sunshine and laughter and joy ever after as we march around the walls of Jasper and see Jesus face to face. Oh, how sweet to rest in the arms of Jesus. Oh, how sweet to know I'm safe from all arms. Just to know that Jesus saved me. With his mercy, forgive me. Oh, how sweet to lean on Jesus. Strong us, if you miss me, don't come searching. If you don't find me, you know that I'm gone. If you don't hear from me, don't come knocking on my door. I'll be gone in the twinkling of an eye. What I say, Glandy, Mockyap, Dean, Winston Henry, sleep and take your rest because the Lord knows best. Come on, give him a praise in this place. Come on, man, give him a praise in this place. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Moderator. Okay. Hallelujah! 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 Thank you so very much. Thank you so much, all of you, for coming out and sharing in this occasion. Um, at this time, we are basically at the end of the program. Um, so again, we just really want to thank everyone. Um, so we're going to move into the final stage. Um, but I really just kind of want everybody to just sing this final song. Let us just sing the song, the final song together. I'm going to say something. Why not? Why not? Why not?
that anybody can say or do but I just want to repeat a song today Psalm number 23 if I can remember it says the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside still waters he restored my soul. No matter what's happening, Jesus said he will restore my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Glory to Jesus. No matter the stress, God is the God of all comfort. Jesus Christ is the God of all comfort. And we believe today that though we are sad, yet he will comfort us. So he will comfort us. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God. You know, also, just in case I forget, he said he will prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. You see, I'm not just saying this for only myself, but I'm saying this to all of Top Road, Geisel, Barker, Jamaica, everywhere you come from. As long as you are in the hearing of my voice, Jesus says, he will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy. Amen, somebody. And he will anoint your head with oil. And because of all the good blessings and the good promises of God, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I have nowhere going. Mama gone, Papa gone, brother gone. But I'm not going nowhere. I will dwell in the house of the Lord Amen. forever. Amen. And I wish to Jesus Hallelujah. that all of Jamaica would seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. David said, one thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to be all the beauty of the Lord yes, and to inquire in his temple. Yes, the big man Moses grew up in Egypt. Yes, Glory to God, and he could have been called the son of Pharaoh. But the Bible said Moses refused to be called the son of Pharaoh because Moses chose rather to suffer affliction with the people of God. Hallelujah! People, let me tell you something, man. There's no greater joy than serving Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. So if I don't leave anything with you, remember this. Jesus came down to earth. To lay down his life to save man from sin. The Bible says we know we are here, you know, for a funeral service. But I was reading 1 Corinthians 15, somewhere around verse 26, where it said, Death is the last enemy that shall be destroyed. Glory to God. One day a death Amen. will be destroyed. Amen. Amen. Paul said, Oh, death. Where is thy sting? Oh, grief! Where, Where is your victory? The day is coming when you man will rejoice when death and hell shall be cast into the lake of fire. 
While my heart is sad, let me tell you, I am very sad in my heart. Amen. But I'm rejoicing in the spirit. For I know this is not the end. And it only come to quote Psalm 23, but we just want to say to all at top row, the Lord bless you. Amen. The Lord keep you. Yes, Serve Lord. God. Live good. Love your brother and sister. Love your neighbor. Love your friend. Even if a man say him are your enemy, still love him. Amen. Amen. So, moderator, sorry. I apologize. God bless you. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Amen. Come on. Word, word. Hallelujah. You know, word, that was, it was very fitting, fitting I believe, um, that moment. sermon. Word. You know, even though he came up to give, um, to recite Psalm 23, it was very fitting and very timely. So, Amen. we are at the end of the program. Um, I'm just going to close in prayer and then we all move over to the, the graveside. Amen. So bow your heads in prayer. Father, we give you thanks, we give you glory, we give you honor for the life of wisdom. And so, Lord God, we thank you that he lived a full life. And we thank you that your grace and your mercy was upon him. In the name of Jesus, today we pray that you will be a consoling comforter for those he has left behind. God, we pray that you will be their strength in the name of of Jesus Lord God we thank you that your hand is upon them and that your blood will sustain and that it will keep them let your keeping power keep them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and Lord God we thank you that they will not die with the dead but Lord God they will live on and they will keep his memory strong in the name of Jesus Lord God I pray that you will visit them in the nights when they are alone when the pain seems as if it is unbearable God I pray that your hand will rest upon them and that you will comfort them in the name of Jesus Christ Lord God we know that you will understand every pain that they are going through all of the tears that they cry Lord God we know that you understand because you are touched with the feelings of our infirmities and so God we thank you for your blood we thank you for your finished work we thank you Lord God that we are able to actually gather in this fashion and to send home our brother our friend our father our uncle our everything and lord god we pray that you will bless everyone here and keep them in jesus name and everybody says amen amen so you can just make your way over to the amen like a bridge over troubled water I will lay me down and like a bridge over troubled water I will lay me down like a
No, we no picture. No pictures. No pictures. No pictures. No pictures. No pictures. No videos. Jesus Christ. Jesus, man.